Hey guys, Flaming Super Panda here with my next tutorial in the Bin and Viewbox series. This tutorial will be about all the special functions you can input to change the way your model looks in Viewbox. So, I'm going to put in the description a list of all of these different functions because there are a lot of them and I'm only going to go over a select few which I use most often and I find the most useful. So, here we have a new folder that I created that's called the bin tutorial which has four different files of the same same model so that I can show you different ways to do it but first I'd have to do this unless you're making a new folder you won't have to do this I'm gonna transfer bin vox and view vox into this new folder so that they can run and I need to find here it is all right so now we can do windows sign run and open a command and change our path as we did before Once that's changed, we're going to run just a normal version of this file so we can see how it works out, how it looks, before we modify it. So we'll let this process. This one will take a little bit longer than normal because it's a kind of a large file. So while it's doing that, we can look over some of the commands we're going to use. So the first one that we're going to use is minus D64, which the minus D function specifies how tall, how many blocks tall you want your model to be. So 64 is just an example of a number you could input. I believe the highest is 256, but that would be insane to build, <laughs> take a long time. So the first one we're going to show you is minus D64 and also we're going to add in a minus C in there and it renders faster and sometimes it can't it, it's not as specific but with this model we don't need it to be so now it's finished so now we're going to do view box chair dot bin box for the new file that it created and as you can see this is a very large chair and um, it would be very hard to build. So that's where our unique little functions come in. So now we're going to do the same thing. Open another command prompt. Change your path. So now we're going to do binvox as we did before, but I'm going to use chair1.obj for the new file. I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is minus D64 and also minus C. So we're just going to run it as normal and it'll process. It will go faster. As you see, it's already done. So now we're going to now we're going to view this one. And as you can see, it's much smaller and much more manageable now. So you can go ahead and toggle the each individual voxel, single slice. And you can just go through these and build each layer until you get your final product. If you don't know how I'm doing this, I recommend watching the first two ver the first two tutorials for Binvox and Viewbox. The links are in the description. And yeah. So now we're going to continue. That was the minus D function, which determines the height. And also minus C, which makes it a little more specific, but misses some 
features if you have very small features on your model. So now we're going to go ahead and do this again. I know this is repetitive, but you can set um, you can cop you can set it as co and on your clipboard this path and just paste it in every time. You don't have to type it in like I am. The next one we're going to show you is with chair two. And it's going to be the minus E and the minus down, which halves the resolution, makes the resolution as half of half of what it was originally. All right, and minus E is precision. It avoids the precision problems that you will get, but it doesn't let you to control anything else, and sometimes it looks bad. So we'll see how this will turn out. And you just input them as I showed, as I did right there. That one will go really fast but it might not turn out very good. This is just to show you all the different commands. So here's chair2.binvox. As you can see, when we used the resolution, it made holes in our chair because it greatly reduced the resolution because we clicked down two. We typed in down twice, so that halved it twice. And E, which makes it not it makes it more specific, but sometimes it can miss some chunks. So th in this case, it could have been the resolution, but it could have also been the E command that caused the holes. So those are two other commands you can do. And now the final ones of this tutorial. Again, a list of all of them will be in the description in case you want to mess around with them. But I am not going to model all of them because some of them, I quite honestly don't know the function. So now on with our next two. There are several we can choose from which are DC, which it makes the model thicker. AW, which makes th it thicker again to show thin features, which we don't have on this. So then the one that I think is most helpful is CB. And that one um, shifts the model into the center so that it's easier to read the coordinates and easier to model. So, we're going to do that one, which, so we'll type in binvox, and we'll do chair3.obj, and we'll do minus cb. I don't know if you remember where the chair was in the other ones, the other examples, but this one, it should be in the center. If not then I don't know why it's not working, but it should work for you. So while we're doing this, we might as well do rote, rotating uh, just, just for the heck of it. So we'll do rotate the x-axis axis, and, oh actually going to want to do minus D64 as well and minus C, the other ones we learned, just so that it is not too large. So I'll hit enter and let it do its magic. Not really magic, just lots of math. But now we'll show this file. And Okay, then. Oh, okay. I see what I did. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to redo my path so that 
we can view our file I just typed in the wrong code it happens all the time <laughs> but the good thing is we don't have to start all over we just have to do view box chair 3 dot bin box and we should be good so here it is already you can see it's a little bit different than the other ones it is now in the center of the grid and it is rotated 90 degrees on the x-axis if you had typed in rotate x more than once it would have done 180 then 360 and so on and so on and so on and so forth so yeah that is how that function works as you can see it also retained the other functions we did the minus d64 and the minus c earlier in the video and so that's about it for the important or the most useful extra functions you can add to binvox if you thought this was helpful if you thought this was helpful comment subscribe rate do all your stuff and leave any comments if you're confused about anything or send me a message if you have a request for a s different tutorial uh, thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe